So I come home and I heard something and this form is over here on the ground. So I just took a five frame nuke and set it over here where they're at and I'm letting them walk in. Currently I'm looking for the queen. One of my ducks is uh, being molested by a chicken right this minute. <laughs> Oops, fixing to take care of it. As you can see, the bees are climbing up the wall of the nuke. And just what I'm doing right this minute is I'm trying to see if I can see the queen walk in. Maybe y'all can help me find her. See if y'all see her walk in or not. I've got a swarm over there in the tree, a little small swarm. I tried to get in the box several times. I think I just seen her. But I couldn't get them to go in the box. And I'm thinking she flew over here and landed on the ground. I'm trying to see if she's in the clip. The light's not the best in the world. Yeah, she's in there. See the dark abdomen. That's our queen. I'm gonna set her in the box right quick. I checked some bees the other day, but I couldn't do a video on them because the wind was blowing so freaking bad. But I'm going to take her. Pretty much the only thing in here is uh, frames with uh, plastic foundation. And then I got one comb in here. It looks bad, but we're going to let them uh, set on that and work on it. So what we'll do with this clip is I'm going to turn it sideways. pinch it into that cone just like that and we'll just leave four frames in here so you can see and I just got it turned sideways if I can get it, see the clips turn like that and one of the reason why I do that is, is so the bees can get still access to the to the clip if I turn it sideways and smash it in between the things and they can't really get to it but I want her to still be able to tend to her. And I'll leave them like that for probably about two days and uh, give them time to start bringing in resources and stuff. And when I let her out, then I'll slide her over or slide the frames over and put five more frames in there. So it'll be a five frame nuke instead of just four. But as you can see, the bees are all over the front. I'm gonna put the top on it and they should walk right on in. See the issue we got. We got a swarm of oh, what's left of a swarm over here in the tree. Let me climb up here on my ladder right quick. This poor green ladder seen better days. 
for what we got. We still got that little bit in the thing. And what I'll do is I'll show you how I'm gonna get them out. So I got a little six foot ladder here and it ain't quite long enough to do what we need to do. But I got a, a way to fix that. What I've got is an inch and quarter piece of pipe. Ratchet strapped to a bucket and see the lip of this bucket that rests up against it so it don't fall off. And that gives me the extra strength or the extra length that I need go from that six foot ladder up there to where the bees are the bees are right around in there and as you can see it's a pretty good stretch there right around in here somewhere so I'm gonna set y'all up on a tripod and let y'all see me smack this swarm that was aggressive yesterday and I'm gonna dump them in front of that hive over there and see what happens Yeah, we got a bucket full of bees. And let's walk over here. I'm going to have to turn the camera around. But we're going to lay them in front of the hive and see if they walk in like the other ones did. Because I'm pretty sure this is from the same swarm because that was a decent sized swarm the other day. Like I said, that swarm was probably twice that size the other day. So I'm assuming that the bees got disor disoriented and the queen quit flying up there on the limb the other day and landed out here on the ground and I just didn't see it. So I'm gonna leave them sitting here for a little bit and see if they join the other ones. Cause like I'm saying, I'm pretty sure they're from the same swarm. It's late afternoon, the sun's almost gone. So we're gonna give them a little time to figure out what they want to do. I'm looking to see if I see maybe a queen in here or something. All these bees are about the same size. See the bees in the bucket, they're not really, you know, balling up on one specific place. So um, that's the reason why I'm thinking that they're part of this crowd. Now if we put them together like this, and they don't show, show aggression to each other, I would think they're part of the same crowd. We're in the time of the afternoon where the bees don't fly that much, they just crawl. And I'm out here in crops and shorts. I wish I could get a few more bees inside the box there where the queen's at. Cause there ain't quite that many in there to kind of start fanning the pheromones around so they'll know where the queen's at. That's kind of the reason why they're hanging outside the box. Which one thing I can do. See if I can get them to walk up on this frame, which I could do it real easy.
that's one way to get more bees in there. And if you're real easy with it, you don't smash and kill them. But they should slowly start walking their way back in. If you'll notice. They're slowly going in. Let me get y'all a little closer. Drop the tripod down. If you'll notice, you got a few stragglers walking in there. You kind of don't know what's going on right this minute. There's a few slowly starting to walk in there, and as it gets darker out here, I'm assuming they'll start funneling on in there pretty good. I don't really want to shake that bucket in there. I kind of rather them walk in on their own. But that's always an option. <laughs> if they don't start walking in there, I'll shake the box or the, the bucket in there. <laughs> Mosquitoes are starting to be bad out here. perfect scenario is, is all the bees would walk in there and I could move them tonight but it don't look like that's gonna happen in this case you could probably smoke them a little bit get them moving toward the box but you normally don't want to smoke a swarm because that normally makes the bees scatter pretty good I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dump that box with that uh, bucket into the the hive and leave them alone for the night. So we got those bees in the bucket. Put the bucket out of the bees out of the bucket into the hive. And we're gonna leave them alone. And I'll check on tomorrow afternoon and see how everybody's doing. And if I don't give you an update on this video, I'll do another video on them and let you know how they're doing. So since our lights faded, let's end this video. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. So I told y'all I would give you an update on that swarm the next day and it is currently the next day so let's walk across the yard over here right quick see what we got going on i looked at them while ago just from a distance and it looked like they were still hanging around the box or whatever uh, i don't think yeah the swarm never went back up in the tree if you remember right there's the ladder and they were up there so let's come over here and crack the top on this and then you can see what we got so we got the bees in here they ain't going anywhere we're not going to crack them open and try to see if they're doing anything yet because it's so late in the afternoon but So I was sitting in the house while I go editing the video and I remembered something. This is the swarm. I'll probably add this on to the end of the video because I don't think I've released it yet. This is a ground swarm that I caught the other day 
And the queen is still in the cage and she's been in there for probably three or four days. So I'll show you what it looks like and hopefully we don't have a mess. So I'm gonna move this hive. Good. I was scared they had built comb on top of the thing, but they haven't, but they have been building some cattywampus comb on these frames. See what we got. See how they built the comb off of the edge of the frame? That's not good. But what I want to do See how they built comb on the side of the uh, my queen clip. <clears throat> Let's see if our queen's still in here. She is. What we're gonna do is open this up. She's on top. Come on. Where you at? I think she's in the hive now. She's not a very big queen. But she's a queen just the same. I caught this one, like I said, probably three days ago, off the ground. And I had forgot that my queen was still in the cage. Of course, there's nothing on here. So I'm going to put this back together. That's going to be a mess. I don't know if y'all can see what's going on. But... They didn't actually build onto the frame. They built beside it. Sometimes bees don't like this plastic foundation. So that'll be the fix, but not this morning. So they've kind of started drawing it out on here. As you can see right there, but then they've got that other piece that they've drawn off to the side. So I'm gonna pull that off and pull this off here too. And hopefully they'll draw it out like they're supposed to. Now this other stuff here, I need to say, yeah, this is a frame that already had drawn comb on it. <clears throat> and they still built that off to the side. Now this ain't nothing but honey right here or nectar. It's not honey till they cap it, but you can see it's going to be a mess to fix. But well, we're not going to fix it this morning because I don't have my smoker out here and I don't feel like getting stung in the face this morning. So we're just going to put it back together. We'll leave this other frame out. let them go from there but I'm gonna let these bees do their thing today and I'll probably move them this afternoon I've got a whole bunch of hives that I got to move and uh, this afternoon might be a good time to do that I'm gonna load them all up on a trailer I'm gonna load all my my hives that I want to move over to the cow shelter up on a trailer and I'm gonna take them to my mother's house and leave them for a day or two and then I'll hook back to the trailer and bring them back over here to the cow shoulder and figure out where I'm going to put them at. That way all my bees are in one location. I can get all this right here cleaned up and looking good again. And we can plant flowers along the backside of the uh, fence down here and uh, get everything cleaned up. Because past three years, 
I've kind of let everything go because of this little guy right here. But uh, that's the end of that video. Like I said, I'm gonna add it on to my other stuff and uh, we'll make one video out of it. Hope y'all doing good. We love y'all and we'll see y'all on the next one.